What's up YouTube? I hope each and every one of you guys are healthy and achieving some of your goals today. Today we are reviewing the 2023 Ram 1500 Limited. Huge thank you to Erica Ramsey over at Coons Tyson's Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram for allowing me to do this review for you guys today. If you guys are interested in this particular Ram or any Chrysler Dodge Jeep or Ram products, I'll be sure to have Erica's information on screen as well as in the description box down below. But with that said, let's get into the video. First, let's talk about the exterior and performance. And like I said, this is a 2023 Ram 1500 Limited, and this particular one has been painted in the $200 diamond black crystal pearl paint. But let's start over here at our headlights, then we'll work our way down and around to the back end of the Limited. So with the Limited, you do get LED headlights with automatic high beams, as well as LED daytime running lights and LED turn signals. And then towards the bottom of the front bumper, you have your LED fog lights. You get some chrome trim that surrounds the grille and your headlights, and you get a black and satin chrome front grille with two black grille nostrils located on the left and right sides of your chrome ram lettering, which is located at the center of your front grille. You just get two body color body pieces that are located below your headlights, one on that side and obviously one on this side as well. This one also has the optional $295 body color bumper group, which gives you body color bumper both front and rear. This one also gets two chrome tow hooks. You can see on both sides of the front end. So if you guys get stuck in a mud pit with your Limited, you can at least be pulled out. I don't think that <laughs> those of you guys uh, who are buying a Limited are gonna be taking it in a mud pit. If you guys want to take it in a mud pit, I would say go out and get a TRX. You also get six forward facing sensors with the limited you get one two three four five and six and then you get a valence at the bottom of the front bumper to help with aerodynamics which hopefully aids to better fuel economy so on both sides of your hood you get this 1500 hemi e-torque plaque um, obviously this has the v8 hemi e-torque engine which i'll get into later on in this video you get body color wheel arch moldings and then what comes standard with the limited are these 20 inch polished aluminum wheels with gray pockets these wheels are wrapped in 275 55 nexon rodian htx tires i'll give you guys a view of the tread pattern on those tires so obviously if you guys want to go off-roading get a trx and then also what comes standard with the limited is four corner air suspension with front and rear stabilizer bars so that's a look at the front suspension those are your airbags pretty sweet this thing rides absolutely phenomenally and with the limited you also get power running boards as standard which i'll show you guys when we move into the interior also with the limited you get chrome mirror caps with integrated turn signals these side view mirrors are heated driver side auto dimming power folding you get memory settings with these side view mirrors you also get blind spot monitoring you get a fish eye mirror on the upper left hand side of your driver side mirror and on the upper right hand side of your passenger side mirror and puddle lights also which is very nice so right there you guys are getting out of the truck at night it's very nice to have those puddle lights and then you can also get the optional 360 degree view camera, which would give you a camera on both side view mirrors. And that comes with the $4,995 level one equipment group. So if you guys want a 360 camera, you gotta get the level one equipment group. This particular limited does have chrome window trim. You can get black window trim as well as a black front grille and a bunch of other black trim pieces and black exhaust tips if you guys do get the $4,195 night edition in my opinion I think that's a great thing to get those of you guys who like chrome get this it's come standard it's free those of you guys who like the black trim black exhaust tips 22 inch wheels you might want to look into getting the night edition that is a $4,195 option but back to this 1500 limited you get chrome window trim body color door handles chrome ram lettering and then you get limited body side moldings also in chrome that go towards the bottom of your passenger doors and also on your bedside as well so you can see it says ram limited it looks pretty sweet in my opinion um, if you guys don't like it you can obviously take them off as well you get a satin black shark fin antenna you get a power sliding rear window this particular one has the 995 dollars ram box so let's take a look you do have keyless access so all you gotta do is press on that button and this will open up to reveal a good amount of storage space back in here so you can set your jumper cables um gloves maybe some snacks stuff like that very good amount of storage space back in here especially back here it goes very very deep it says ram box you get a 400 watt household power outlet in here as well that you can turn on and off from the interior you also get led lights um, you get two led lights and 
that's about it for the ram box that's a very nice feature however if you guys get the ram box it makes the bed a tad bit smaller so just keep that in mind you also get a capless filler neck behind your fuel door this one does have the optional 445 dollars 33 gallon fuel tank so you get a very very good range with this fuel tank but it's a 445 dollar option that's your rear wheel and tire setup you get another body color wheel arch molding above that and then move into the business end of the 1500 limited you get led taillights as well as a dampened tailgate so if you come over here you can press on this button and the tailgate will drop it comes down nice and slow this one does not have bed liner bed liner is an option which i'll get into later on in this video but you get four tie down hooks you get one two three and four and you guys can now see what i mean that when you get the ram box it makes your bed just a tad bit smaller now i do want to apologize if there is uh any wind noise i do have a wind sock on the camera but it's a pretty blustery day so um yeah i apologize in advance for that wind noise but here is your rear view camera you get your ram lettering you get your limited lettering four by four you get body color rear bumpers, which like I said, comes with the body color bumper group. And then you get four rear view sensors. You get one, two, three, and four. You get chrome exhaust tips. If you guys get the night edition, those exhaust tips are in black. Here are your trailer lighting options. You get four pin and I would assume a seven pin connector. And then that is what your hitch looks like. And then one last thing before we get into tow capacity and payload capacity, uh, this also has the optional $145, 392 rear gears. So pretty cool. Then if you guys were wondering about the max tow capacity of this particular 1500 limited, the max tow capacity is 11,300 pounds and the max payload is 1800 pounds. But let me know what you guys think of the 2023 Ram 1500 limited in the comments down below. I'm gonna show you guys what is new for 2023 when we move into the interior because it's pretty sweet. But again, let me know what you guys think of the look of the Ram 1500 limited. In my personal opinion, I love the way that the new Rams look. I think they look absolutely phenomenal. If this was my truck and I was specking this out at a dealership, I would probably get the night edition because I like all the black accents and stuff. I think that looks really, really good. You also get 22 inch wheels, but again, that's just personal preference. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, but let's move into performance. Popping open the hood reveals that 5.7 liter Hemi E-Torque V8 that makes 395 horsepower and 410 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission for a 0-60 to 60 time in 6.4 seconds. If you guys were wondering about fuel economy, you can achieve 17 miles per gallon in the city, 22 miles per gallon on the highway, for 19 miles per gallon combined with four-wheel drive. I think those are very, very good fuel economy numbers, especially considering that this is a V8 four-wheel drive and it's a pickup truck. But if you guys are enjoying the video so far today, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please Please hit that subscribe button. I'm really trying to hit 10,000 subscribers and I cannot do that without your guys' help. So if you guys would take a second, give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, but let's move into the interior. All right, guys, moving into the interior. Obviously you do get keyless access. This is a limited after all. That's what your key fob looks like. But like I said, you get keyless access. All you gotta do is walk up to the vehicle, put your hand behind the door handle and the vehicle will unlock. You can also lock the vehicle by pressing on this little square right here and the vehicle will lock. I wanna show you guys what the key fob looks like because it looks pretty sweet. It says RAM, it says limited. On the other side of the key fob, get your unlock and lock functions. If you press this button twice, that will drop your tailgate. And then if you press this button twice, it will lower the RAM. Like I said, you get the air suspension. So it's going to entry and exit mode. So you can see it's lowering at the moment. I think that is pretty sweet. So let's say you have a grandma, she's old. She has a hard time getting in and out of trucks all you got to do is press that button twice and the ram will lower you can see how much lower it got that is a really really sweet feature but if i press this button twice that will remote start the vehicle and that beautiful 5.7 liter will fire up this thing sounds absolutely phenomenal and really this is the only 1500 level truck nowadays that actually has a sound to it when you fire it up so thank you ram for still giving us a nice v8 growl i greatly appreciate it plus you get dual exhaust tips that actually look good. Whereas on the Chevy with the 6.2 or the 5.3, you get those HDMI ports. And on the Ford, you don't even get a dual exhaust with the five liter. So thank you, Ram. And look how easy it is to step in and out of the Limited now, because look how low it is on the ground. Very, very easy to step in and out of it. But I'm gonna make sure that I have the radio off. So I'm gonna turn that all the way down just so we don't get a copyright strike. But let's take a look at the door panel because it is absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's pretty much leather wrapped from here up. 
you get some accent colored stitching, you get some wood grain trim with some cool lines in the wood, and then you get some more like dark gray metallic trim, you get a dark gray metallic door handle, and then you get two memory seat adjustment settings. Um, and this is very reminiscent of the Ram TRX that I had for like six months at my last job. That was my work truck. That was a really, really cool truck. Then you get some cool stitching, but the door panel looks very similar to that. You get automatic up and down windows in the front. You get power folding side view mirrors by the click of that button. You also have your power adjustable mirror controls up here as well. Um, you get manual, well it's not manual, but you don't get automatic up or down rear windows. Unlock and lock buttons. This will restrict your passenger window privileges. <coughs> Excuse me, this is a great spot. You can set a phone, and then you get tons of miscellaneous storage space at the bottom of the door panel. Moving in, one thing that is, you know, kind of a letdown a little bit is that you don't get a illuminated door sill. Um, you just get a brushed aluminum door sill. It still looks really good, uh, but it would be cool if it was illuminated. Maybe that comes in a package that I don't know of. Let me know in the comments down below. But obviously, you get a power driver seat and a power front passenger seat. These seats look absolutely phenomenal. Ram kills the interior game. You can see you get some really cool like uh, pattern on your front seats. It looks absolutely phenomenal. Do these, yes, they do. I love that. That's an awesome feature. You can move the headrest forward and backwards. You get perforated leather down the center of the seats. These are heated and ventilated front seats. But man, with that lowered all the way down, it makes it so easy to step in and out of the limited very very nice feature to just be able to do that from the key fob that's absolutely fantastic moving down here like i said if you press this button that will turn your household outlet in the ram box on or off this is your electronic parking brake and then you can move the pedals either towards you or away from you with these two buttons one thing that is kind of interesting though is that you get a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel i wish this was this was power uh, but still very very easy to adjust it all you gotta do is pull that down and you know tilt or telescope it uh, to your liking obviously headlight controls that's headlights off that daytime running lights on that's headlights on that's headlights on automatic and then that is your fog lights and then here are your cargo lights and then this is like your interior lights to turn them on or off or up or down and then this is your gauge lights so if i turn that all the way up that's going to turn your gauge cluster brightness up and then if i scroll down that's going to turn your gauge cluster brightness down as well as your backlit buttons brightness down say that thing three five times in a row that's pretty tough to say like i said for 2023 what do you get new on the 1500 limited well if you guys can't see it already you get a digital gauge cluster that is a 12 inch digital gauge cluster which is new on the rams for 2023 so that is a very very nice thing to see uh, especially considering now that ford and chevy has it and that just brings uh ram you know back to the top one thing though is that i really like the way that the analog gauges looked from 2022 2021 on the limiteds trx's uh, i think they looked really 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 sweet uh, however you know this brings it to the next level let's take a listen to our turn signal that's what your turn signal sounds like this is your turn signal stock this is your high beam stock and this is your windshield wiper control stock so if i press on this button that will wash the front windshield i'm not going to do it at the moment but obviously you get a beautiful leather wrapped steering wheel with some accent colored stitching you get some nice wood trim down here it's not actual wood but it looks like wood you get your black ram logo let's take a listen to the horn that's what the horn sounds like on the 1500 limited these buttons over here are to control what's going on here in your digital gauge cluster we'll get into that in a second this is to pick up on a phone call and or speak to the vehicle and this is to hang up on a phone call and then you got your cruise control settings on the right hand side of the steering wheel and then you can upshift or downshift with these two buttons this is downshift this is upshift and then on this side of the steering wheel this is your tuning stuff so you can switch the radio station, switch songs if you're on your Bluetooth audio. And then on this side of the steering wheel behind it, you have your volume up, which is right here. This is volume up and then this is volume down. So those are your controls behind the steering wheel. This is what the steering wheel looks like. It looks very, very premium. And then you get a leather wrap dash with some accent colored stitching. I mean, come on, this is a Ram. We know the Ram interiors are absolutely phenomenal. And then this, I'm gonna show you one touch that really sets the Ram apart from Ford and Chevy is that they do like this leather wrapping around their Opu panels. And that's just like, that's next level, you know what I mean? And I noticed that when I was ha when I had the TRX is that these were leather wrapped and I was like, man, obviously the base model TRX does not have these, um, but 
the limited does so very very nice touch thank you ram but we'll go throughout this screen you get your rpm gauge you get your speedometer you get your digital speedometer readout you get your fuel gauge down on the lower right hand side of the screen and then you have your coolant temperature gauge on the lower left hand side of the screen and then down here that is your odometer and then that's what four-wheel drive setting we're in. Right now we're in four-wheel drive auto. And then right here where it says entry exit, that is like your air ride. So that will like, see how it only has like one light? It will add more lights as the truck raises. So when you put this thing in drive and you start driving away, it's not gonna like look this low when you're driving down the street at 35 miles an hour uh, because it's gonna raise up immediately as soon as I put it in drive. But up here, you can see where it says limited. That is a part of the screen. It looks pretty freaking sweet. That's your ambient exterior temperature and then where it says s with like the arrow that is your compass let's go throughout this screen here um, so you can see this is like one of your screen settings so you can either have it on your analog screen settings or you can have it on your digital screen settings which like kind of reminds me of like a sports car with your rpm gauge at the bottom of the screen it looks pretty sweet then if i click on this button just like what you would find on like the grand cherokees or the you know the new grand cherokees you have these four different boxes so you can actually adjust the boxes so you can have four boxes you can have three you can have two you can have one but if i press and hold okay you can adjust the amount of tiles so you can do four three two one i'm gonna leave it on five because it's very nice um, and then you can also adjust what you have on your different tiles so if you don't want this to be navigation if i click up through here you can have it be vehicle info you can have it be trailer tow you can have it be audio navigation so those are your different things vehicle info trailer tow audio navigation so pretty cool you can adjust you know what you see on each one of these screens so it's just very easy access into what you want so if i go into audio i'm going to press ok to save so now um, should be good to go so if i scroll over here into audio then i press and hold on that it shows me what audio stuff so that is really cool and then you can also just go throughout the screen just by clicking up or down so i'm going to click down this brings me into two this is like your vehicle info screen so you get your fuel stuff all these different gauges temperatures blah 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 uh, entry exit mode all your hour vehicle hours and stuff like that go down one more this is like trip information trip a trip b this is your navigation stuff so you, your navigation will display on the digital speedometer readout those are your two different screens for your trip information this is your audio stuff go down one more and you get your messages you can go into your screen setup and personally this is the screen that i would leave it on if this was my truck but going throughout the rest of the interior you have your uh scroll knob i guess you could say your rotary dial for your gear shifter so twist once reverse neutral drive very easy um so one thing I wanted to mention to you guys, if you guys are cruising down the road and you think this is your volume knob, you're in drive, you want to turn the volume down and you accidentally twist this all the way into park, it's not going to put itself in park. It's dummy proof. It's just going to keep you in drive. It's going to be like, dude, what are you doing? Pretty much. You know what I mean? So don't worry about that happening. Push button start. You get your park reverse neutral drive stuff. Four wheel auto, two wheel drive, four wheel high, four wheel low. Pressing on that button puts you into true neutral. And then this will turn auto stop start on or off. That's a button I would press every single time that I got in and out of this vehicle. This does have the nine speaker Alpine sound system, which sounds pretty good. You know, if you guys want a better sound system, you guys are gonna wanna get the 19 speaker Harman Kardon sound system. The 19 speaker Harman Kardon sound system does come with the level one equipment group, which is a 4,900 in 95 dollar option now one actually two recommended options that i recommend you know if i was to get this truck and you know i'm already spending 70 some thousand dollars on a truck might as well spend 75 or you know 76 to get exactly what i want so what i would want would be the 4145 dollar night edition which i'll put what comes with that on screen right here you guys can see if you want it see if you don't want it another recommended option that i would personally get on my 1500 limited would be the 4995 dollar level one equipment group i'll put that on screen as well so you guys can read through uh what comes with that as well uh, but again, that's your Alpine speaker surround on top of the dash. Up top here, you get a very good amount of storage space, uh, as well as you have your 12 volt power outlet, which is located right here. And then you get this button that will turn your hazards on or off. That's what your hazards sound like. And then obviously we all know about the 2019 and up Ram 1500s. Uh, obviously not all of them, but like the Laramie and up pretty much have this 12 inch Uconnect infotainment screen with wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto connectivity. So for 2022, I believe they upgraded from Uconnect 4 to Uconnect 5, which gives you 
wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto connectivity. You get some beautiful wood grain trim on both sides of the infotainment screen. You also get two HVAC vents. And if you guys go throughout the screen down here, you get your home button, you get your media button, you get your comfort button. Um, so this is like your climate control stuff. This is your navigation stuff. This is your phone stuff. Um, and then you can go into your vehicle stuff. So if you go into here, you can uh, turn your power steps on or off. You can pop up your rear view camera if you wanted to. Um, if you guys want to go back into your screen, you just click this X and then you get your mirror dimmer. So your auto, auto dimming rear view mirror, you can turn on or off by that as well. And then you can go into all your different settings. So I mean, there are so many different settings that you can go through. I'm not going to go through each and every one of them, but you guys pretty much know um, you know, brakes, suspension, seats and comfort, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so pretty cool. And then you can go in between your different apps, which will bring you to like your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Alexa, blah, 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 all these different things. But that's about it for that screen. I'm not really going to go throughout the screen besides your time, ambient exterior temperature. This is a dual zone climate control vehicle. Um, so right now, get your navigation stuff up top here. And then down here, you got your media stuff. So that's about it for that. This one also has the $295 integrated trailer brake controller, which is located here, as well as the only other option on the interior, at least, that this has is the $1,495 panoramic sunroof, which we'll get into here in a second. But you have this little like thing. So if I click that up, that's gonna raise the suspension. So you got one, two, I believe you have four or five different suspension settings so right now it's raising the suspension into its highest setting and you can watch it do it as it goes up this is to turn traction control on or off tow haul mode on or off and then this is to turn your front and rear park assist on or off which is basically turning your rear view sensors on or off you get two USB A ports, two USB C ports, an auxiliary jack, a great spot. You can set a phone right here. Now on the TRX that I had, um, I would set my phone here and it also had a wireless charging pad. This particular limited is not optioned with the wireless charging pad, um, but you can get that as an option. And then down here, you get another 400 watt household power outlet located right there. 400 watts is very good, um, but yeah, I mean, that's about it for in here. Good amount of storage space. Um, and then you can also slide this thing forward and backwards and you can open this up. You get two cup holders opening this up. You get a spot you can set some coins, your phone, phone charger and stuff like that. Very good amount of storage space. I mean, tons and tons of storage space down in here. I mean, it pretty much goes down there forever. And then one thing that's really nice is that on your center fold down armrest, it says limited and then you get some cool like uh, stitching pattern on that as well. Looks really sweet. And then if I open this thing up, you get another USB-A port as well as a spot you can set, you know, whatever you need to in here. A very good amount of storage space. And then you can open this one up all the way. And then you can slide this thing forward just like that. And then you get tons of space down in there. And you get also uh, a little divider here that you can flip up if you wanted to flip down. Um, pretty much, you know, you can adjust this thing exactly as you want to. I mean, there's just tons of storage space here in the center. I mean, literally tons. And then you also have an upper glove box. If I click on this, upper glove box goes up. It also says limited over there, if you can see. And then you get a lockable glove box. Opening that up, very good amount of storage space down in there. You can fit whatever you need to in there. Uh, as like your owner's manual and that kind of stuff. But auto dimming, rear view mirror, you got a great spot. You can set your sunglasses in here. You get your assist SOS buttons. This is to drop the tailgate. You get your different lighting options here, 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 and here. Again, your SOS and assist, like roadside assistance stuff. And then this is to open and or close your power sliding rear window. So right now it's opening, right now it's closing. And then this is to open up your pano roof. You can also open up the shade for the pano roof. And then you can also tilt the sunroof itself like that. So I might open up the shade here real quick. Show you guys what that is made of while that's going on. You get a universal garage door opener. I'm gonna open that up all the way. Uh, and then opening this up, you get a vanity mirror, two vanity lights. You get a great spot. You can set your registration, some money or something like that. You get a little clip. Same thing goes for the front passenger. But now that this is open, that is what your pano roof looks like. And that, like when you open that up and it lets more light in, it really makes the interior feel a lot bigger. But I do wanna open up 
this screen here for a second and read over the window sticker and let's talk about the MSRP. So with the window sticker on screen, I do want to go over some functional slash safety features and those include you get a rear view camera, you get blind spot monitoring and cross path detection, you get full speed forward collision warning plus, you get a remote start system, four corner air suspension, you get a power tailgate that's release only, it's a dampened tailgate, rain sensitive windshield wipers, you get active noise cancellation, you get heated and ventilated front seats you get a heated steering wheel you get heated and ventilated rear seats which when i got in the trx and the trx had that i was like oh my god this is insane even like on a 7 series bmw if you guys just get not the executive package but you just get like the 7 series you don't get heated or ventilated i think i think you get heated second row seats you don't get ventilated second row seats so pretty cool that you get ventilated second row seats here in the limited um but yeah that's really about it let's go over the msrp so the msrp of the way that this particular 2023 ram 1500 limited is spec is seventy three thousand three hundred and fifteen dollars now uh you guys can read over the warranty and stuff but i do want to go over the five star safety ratings so the overall vehicle score for this 1500 is five stars frontal crash for the driver is five stars frontal crash for the passenger is four stars and then the side crash for the front and rear seats is both five stars and then the rollover is four stars so pretty dang safe vehicle if you guys get in a wreck you should feel that you are safe um, and that you should pretty much survive you know anything if it ends up happening uh, you guys should be okay so very good nice and safe vehicle it's also very just a nice interior in and of itself it's just absolutely nice and beautiful just to even look at but it's also very nice to sit in here uh, but I do want to show you guys one thing is that I showed you guys what it looked like with the suspension all the way down now I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like with the suspension all the way up so you can see look how much more room there is between the top of the tire to about right here there's a lot more ground clearance and you can see tons more ground clearance uh than when it's in the entry exit mode but i do want to show you guys what's going on here in these rear seats before we get into the driving portion of the review door panel looks pretty much the exact same as what you would find in the front the only thing really that's different is that you do not get automatic up or down rear windows tons of storage space and uh one thing that i like about the rams is that you get this little box right here that you can open up and set whatever you need to down in there so that's a very very nice thing to have you get a seat back pocket behind the driver's seat. Another seat back pocket over there behind the passenger seat. Let's step into the interior and see what's going on back here. So, I mean, you guys can see I got tons of leg room, tons of knee room. I mean, that's not even an issue at all. I also have tons of headroom. You get speakers in the roof, which is sweet. You get a spot you can set your dry cleaners. Another spot you can set your dry cleaners there. You get a dome light. You get another dome light. I do want to show you guys this. Like I said, you get heated and ventilated seats. So that's your heated seat button, three levels of adjustability. That's your ventilated seat button with three levels of adjustability. You get two USB-A ports, two USB-C ports, another household power outlet that is 400 watts. You get a great spot. You can set a phone in there while it is charging, as well as you get two cup holders, two HVAC vents. Then you get a really, really nice center seat. So uh, like on the Fords and the Chevys and stuff, the center seat is nowhere near as nice as the center seat is here in the second row of the Ram. Uh, but I do want to fold this seat down. So I believe you just pull on this and this will come down. And now it's a center fold down armrest with good amount of storage space and two more cup holders. So very, very nice interior here on this Ram 1500 Limited. I mean, I'm assuming that you guys would have expected a really nice interior i mean it is a ram it is a limited at that so it's a very very nice interior very very nice exterior looks i mean it's just an overall really good truck but you know we've talked about the exterior we've talked about the performance and now we've talked about what's going on here in the interior so i want to see what this thing's like to drive as i'm assuming you guys do as well so i will see you guys in the driver's seat all right guys and now on to the driving portion of the review and this thing drives just as good as it looks. It rides so well with the air suspension. I mean, you almost can't even feel the bumps in the road. I mean, after all, this is a truck, so it is still, you know, a little bit bumpy like a truck would be. However, comparing this to like the Silverados and the F-150s, it's right on par with both of their suspensions. All these new trucks nowadays ride so well. They're so comfortable. They handle surprisingly well. And um, 
yeah, just an overall really great driving experience from the interior to the exterior to the sound. Oh, and yeah, that's one thing I wanted to get into right away pretty much is that this has the 5.7 liter. So no, this isn't like the supercharged 6.2 liter V8 that you would find in the TRX. However, this thing is still a very throaty sounding V8. It still sounds absolutely phenomenal. When I came out to this thing, um, like the first time when I was getting in to drive it from the dealership to the spot where I film, it was a cold start and it like really like was a violent cold start and it sounded so good and i was like honestly taken back i was like okay this thing sounds really good on a cold start and also another thing i like about rams in general with the v8s obviously is that they still give you a dual exhaust that looks good like on the chevys with like the five threes and the six twos it looks like they got hdmi ports for exhausts and with the ford f-150 with the five liter you don't even get dual exhaust so i don't understand that really from you know ford's perspective perspective why you don't get a dual exhaust but on the rams you still get a dual exhaust you still get an exhaust that has a great sound to it and uh, you know it 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 sounds good but it also looks good so it plays both parts it's such a great vehicle it's such a great sounding vehicle and it's also such a great driving vehicle i really like the new digital gauge cluster for 2023 however um i was happy with the analog gauge cluster which you would find in like the 21s and the 22s or, or i guess the 19 to 22 1500s um especially like when i had that trx I really liked the way the gauge cluster looked. I didn't feel like it really needed a uh, digital gauge cluster. However, you know, with everybody going to a digital gauge cluster, Ram obviously kind of had to. Um, but I still think that this thing looks really good. I'm in the analog mode at the moment. So it's a digital spin or digital gauge cluster, but I'm in the analog setting. So you get your analog RPM gauge, you get your analog speedometer, obviously it's digital, and then you get your digital speedometer readout at the center. I love how big the numbers are. So it makes it very easy to tell how fast you're going. So let's say you're on the highway, you're on a road trip, you're not really paying attention, but you just barely like look down and uh, you can see your um, digital speedometer readout out now another thing i wanted to mention is that if you guys want to get a heads-up display or a 360 degree view camera you're going to want to get to the level one equipment group because that's the only way that you're going to be able to get either one of those so if you guys again want a digital speedometer readout you got to get the level one equipment group if you guys want to get the heads-up display you got to get the level one equipment group if you guys want to get the 360 degree view camera you got to get the level one equipment group so yeah this thing can get you know somewhat pricey um but if you guys are spending you know 70 plus thousand dollars on a truck you might as well get it the way that you want it the one thing that i personally really like about the 1500 limited is that you get the power running boards as standard whereas if you get like a ford or a i believe the chevys like the high countries come with the uh, assist steps, they're like black assist steps and they're just fixed. I personally like the power retractable running boards. I don't think a running board that sits all the time like just there looks good unless you guys get the trx with like those uh bed liner looking running boards i think those look really good but if you guys are just getting like a, a lariat or a laramie or a high country or a limited i think the power retractable running boards are honestly a must i think they look really good um obviously on like the Laramie and stuff, you do have to option for them, but on limited, you do not have to option for them, which is very, very nice. And yeah, that's another thing that I really like. I like now uh, for 2022 is when they gave you the wireless Apple CarPlay and the wireless Android Auto stuff. So I love now that they got wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, because one thing that I've learned in having a car with Apple CarPlay is that when you plug it in all the time, it really destroys your battery. Like if you have it plugged in all the time and you got your Apple CarPlay and you drive a lot, um, you're going to notice that if you go into like your battery health, if you guys have an iPhone or something, that it really just degrades your battery very quickly. And that's something that I've learned. And that's something that I like about the wireless stuff is that it's not going to kill your battery because you don't have to have it plugged in all the time. You can just have it wirelessly connect. But uh, as soon as we get a little clearing in the traffic, we're going to pull out and we're going to see how this thing does, um, you know, in day to day driving. All 
all right we merged into traffic and you know if you guys are going to be buying a 1500 limited and um you know you're going to be dra daily driving it then this is the perfect kind of video for you guys because <laughs> we're sitting in traffic so we're going to see how it behaves sitting in traffic how it accelerates from a stop sitting in traffic and so far i'm barely putting my foot on the accelerator it's shifting at you know roughly 2000 rpm and uh we've accelerated rather quickly you know what i mean if you need a little bit more you can give it a little bit more and then you can really start getting into the power um but yeah very good acceleration let's see how it takes bumps it takes bumps so well it just soaks them up so nicely and i love the air suspension man what a great suspension i love how you can lower it i love how you can raise it that's very nice for if you're picking up your mom or you're picking up your grandma and she struggles to get in and out of vehicles that are higher off the ground because you know if you get a truck most likely it's going to be higher off the ground and uh, it's nice that all i got to really do is press two buttons on the key fob or press one button twice on the key fob and it will lower it and make it very very easy to step in and out of the truck so that's a very very nice feature and i like how ram included it on the key fob i really appreciate that also if you're an older person yourself that will make Make it that much easier to step in and out of the truck i mean literally like these assist steps are maybe like six inches off the ground so it's like the height of a stair to, to step into the ram so it's a very nice ride so quiet from the outside i mean i feel like uh you know we haven't really tested it thoroughly maybe yet at, at like higher speeds but so far you know 45 miles an hour in traffic um very well insulated from the outside world it's very windy outside today and you can hear it's just so quiet here i'll give you a second and if you want it to be even quieter one thing that i learned um with the trx is that if you guys close the shade up top here it gets even quieter i mean even though it's just like you know a little piece of fabric that comes and closes um it still makes the interior quieter so pretty cool and uh we're gonna merge onto the highway when uh we get up here and we're gonna see how this thing merges into highway traffic because i think that's a very important thing if you guys are looking at getting a new car because you know you want to see you want to make sure that it has the power that you want it to have and you know after driving this thing already i can tell you that it definitely has more than enough power to get you merged onto the highway but we'll do a little acceleration here i don't know if this guy's gonna rip it or what this guy's doing but um let's see how she accelerates so i'm gonna go slow until we like really need to merge and then i'll give it a little bit of the beans so let's see here give it a little bit of gas barely accelerating and look sounds great merges like psh, not a problem for this thing to merge into traffic that's something that makes or breaks a vehicle for me is can it merge into traffic easily now if you get in a vehicle and it doesn't merge into traffic easily you know i'm not that big of a fan of it but man this thing merged into traffic so easily i mean i didn't even get anywhere near flooring this thing and it just literally accelerated to the speed limit in a matter of like three seconds so that's something that i appreciate it sounded fantastic and uh here on the highway it rides fantastic i'll give you guys a second to what it sounds like and you can just hear how quiet it is cruising at 55 miles an hour it's just an overall fantastic truck fantastic riding truck sound system is great if you guys want a sound system that's really banging then you're going to want to get to the Harman Kardon sound system which again comes with the level one equipment group now again I'm going to do this one more time just if those of you guys who maybe skipped over the video if I was to buy a 1500 limited the two options that would be a must for me would be the night edition and the level one equipment group the night edition again gives you a bunch of blacked out elements blacked out trim blacked out dual exhaust tips i mean it's just personally something that i would have to get if i was to get one of these 1500s we'll do another little acceleration here mild one see how she does
And you guys can hear just how good this thing sounds. This one has the 392 rear gears, which gives it a little bit more oomph uh, to, you know, get up and accelerate. And I was just on the highway there for a second, and I noticed with even with the 392 rear gears, um, it still was cruising at a low RPM. Granted, you know, we were only going 55 miles an hour, and most of you guys who are cruising on the highway are, you know, probably, you know, cruising 70 or something like that. I still think that it would be cruising at a low RPM, even at, you know, 70 miles an hour. But overall, I really like the Ram 1500 Limited. Am I partial to them, uh, to Rams as a whole? Maybe. But, you know, I also do like Fords. You know, I really like the new F-150s. I think they ride fantastic. I think they look great. Um, so, you know, it'd be a toss-up for me between the F-150 and this. And even this, the new Silverado, I just did a video with the 2023 High Country, and I was like, okay, you know, Chevy really stepped their game up for 2023 and made a very, very nice vehicle both inside and out. So, you know, between the three, they're all great trucks. I can't tell you which one to get because they're all great. And, you know, um, each one of them has a plus to them that the other one doesn't have. Now, interior-wise, you know, Ram kills the game. Still to this day, even with Ford and Chevy re designing their interior. I still feel like the Ram interior is just that much nicer. Um, I also feel like I like the look of the Ram with all like the blacked out stuff. I think it looks fantastic, but I also think um, the F-150 looks really good as well. So really, really nice vehicle between the technology, between the drive, between the ride, between how quiet it is here on the interior. It's a very fantastic vehicle. So if you guys are looking in uh, at getting a 1500 Limited, I suggest you go out and test drive one. See what you think about it. I think if you guys are really truly in the market for a new truck and you guys really like the ram 1500 limited if you guys went out and test drove one you sat in one you'd be like okay I'm, i think i'm sold so it's that nice but you know that's it for today's video if you guys did enjoy the video please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up please hit that subscribe button like i said i'm really trying to hit 10,000 subscribers and i cannot do that without your guys' help so if you guys enjoyed please take a second give the video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button but again that's it for today's video i will see you guys in the next one peace